Okay, let's do the details. The last step of the calla lily. So what do I mean by details? <clears throat> well, let's look at the photograph here. So uh, last time we did general value, which, which means I got a lot of darks on, a lot of mediums, right? I got a full range, one through five. And now I've got to crispen up all the edges all the way around. Some of them I've already gotten, but I need to complete all of those crisp edges all the way around. There's a lot of detail over here in this petal that I need to make. The crisp edges and that dark space right there. That little delicate little piece. Some uh, darks underneath. Certainly the veining here. And all of this. Those details are really going to make this flower something to sink your teeth into. Uh, I've got some a really light white down here that I haven't put in yet. I've got some there also, right? So I've got quite a bit here to do, and this is gonna take me about an hour, I think, to try to pull this off, these details. So I'm gonna do some samples and then um, go through it relatively, or, um, so you don't have to go through all of them with me. Now, also, before I finish this, I want to clean up all the smudges all over this board and make sure that the edges is kind of where I want it to be. I've also got this paper that I've been using to keep it smudge free with my hand. It is now pretty dirty. I'm going to replace it with a clean sheet. so that I can still work clean as possible. That edge right there and Pull out that nice detail. Look how nice and white that is. That white makes me happy. I've also got a bit of a white uh, right there. <clears throat> now what I don't want to do is leave an outline like I just did. And this is going to be a great tool for that. But I create edges. That's what I want to do. I want to create edges, not outlines. Now, do some of that veining. <clears throat> I'm going to draw it in and then I'm going to softly
Okay, I think I'm feeling pretty good about the details of this flower and getting ready to wrap it up. So, I want to clean off all the edges. And I like the outline of this. I'm going to let it be kind of wispy, wispy. It, I, I like that actually. Kind of mimic some round here, right? I'm just kind of being free here. And now I'm ready for a signature. So I'm going to sign it with my 2B and that's my signature and I'll usually practice it a few times. And you can sign it anywhere. It doesn't want to be glaring. It wants to be subtle. Um, so I'm going to put that about right there, I think. Just like that. Okay, we're done. Snap a photo, submit it.